What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Austin Show. Today we're looking at the Lego Star Wars 4 Plus AT-ST set, set 75332, with 87 pieces that retails for $35.99. Now I usually don't review any of the 4 Plus sets because I usually barely ever buy any. I've, I've had a couple, but when I tend to buy them, I usually buy them for the minifigures, which is exactly why I bought this set, because I wanted the minifigures of the Wicket, Scout Trooper, and AT-ST Driver, because I feel all those are good figures. I love the Ewoks, so getting Wicket, I always want to buy him but then getting some more troopers you know to add into the collection is never a bad thing so I thought I'd buy this four plus set just for that mostly and just to see the new build I think the ATST looks pretty fun and kind of cute with the short legs and then in the additional little set of the tree house and stuff so again nothing big or major coming from the set I just thought I'd get it but I didn't realize till looking it up that it cost $35.99 I just picked it up and bought it but I feel for that set especially with 87 pieces that doesn't sound like a very good deal but I know they have pre-molded pieces like a big chunk of the ATSD head was pre-molded along with the legs as well the new leg mold design so I guess that kind of goes into the price but like I said for me it was mostly to get these three characters so I paid $35 for three characters pretty much either way this is a set representing the battle of Endor so we have the ATSD here with a tree for the Ewoks and some fun things that go along with that and if we spin around on the box we can see some of the functions so awesome design here so there you can see some of the builds so you have this big like pre-molded pieces that you put some pieces on along with the legs design but we have the ATSD the speeder bike and the tree with all the characters and then you can see some of the function there with like the catapult design so a fun little set overall like I said but mostly just for the minifigs because those are what I care for most about so enough with looking at the box let's go and look at the actual set so here is the set all together. So let's go and look at the minifigs starting with Wicket, which is what we've had before. We've seen Wicket's, but it looks pretty good with the all molded pieces, the all molded like headpiece set that goes on the body. So it's got his head with the brown and white fur, has his leather headdress piece over the top with like the orangish brown color with the little barrier sticking out and all the fur being attached onto it. And then it's just a minifigure molded body with the shorter legs and has the bow and arrow weapons there for his hand. So it looks pretty good for Wicket. And then we've also had these other figures. So a scout trooper, so not looked any different. Except for me, it looks like he's got more black on his body, like on the legs and lower section there with the additional printing. That looks newer to me, but of course I don't have any out available to check, but it looks pretty good. It has the biker scout helmet with a black goggle piece, the breather apparatus, the head covering and printing even all the way around on the back as well as on the back of his body. So pretty good minifigure design and comes with the little blaster. And then we have the ATSG driver, which looks good as well. Again, we've had him before. So has the driver helmet, just this all gray helmet piece with the goggles up top with the head piece that we can switch out. He's got two different heads there. So one with like a mad head and one with a little smile or smirk and then he's got the all gray imperial outfit so it looks like the imperial officer outfit there with the shirt and the pants the black belt that probably yeah goes all the way around with some printing on the back and has the little blaster as well and then that gives us our set so let's look at the little speeder bike so again these are much like cheaper things for little kids so easy to build so it's just got the little piece here that we can sit the biker scout on so we'll go and just take him pop him right in there so we have that and then of course we have the little back piece so we can lean back a little and have the little cushion like a lot of the normal speeder bikes have and then in the front here we have what I guess could be the handles for him to grab onto. You could probably lean him forward to grab onto that. Just have the flat console piece and then the two little fins at the front to help guide the speeder bike. So not a horrible design, like it carries off the look, but pretty simple and easy to build. So that's pretty fun. And then we also have the tree house design we'll take a look at. So pretty simple build, has some leaves and stuff to add some like tree design and have the top up here that we can take like wicket and stick him up on there. And of course we can take his like bow and arrow if it's probably gonna be in the way and stick it in the clips here on the side, but we can just stick a wicket up there to be able to fight of course a little open section down here so you could hide characters if you wanted and then we have the catapult as well with those canister pieces that we can take and then we can just take and flip them so we can flip them at the atst if we wanted to but of course just going to store them here so i don't lose any pieces so again another simple easy built design that has a play feature with the catapult so pretty fun overall it's nice to stick wicket up in there and then of course we have the atst which was the i guess the star of this set for the build which again looks pretty funny it looks you know like a little person with the real small legs and the bigger head that looks would like the normal size for an ATSD so looks pretty funny I like the details it's got some of the grayish blue color into it as well so you can see there down on the feet with the stickers and then the section of the feet going in there and then up with the like piece where the guns are and then the top piece as well so has some blue build in there which I don't like too much but it adds more details even have some mud there down on the feet with the stickers again the little short leg pieces that are molded together that are pre mold and stuff that are pretty fun and they do move back and forth so you can kind of get in a different position if you want we do have the head piece that can twist around there as well and then of course the guns can twist around so if you want to aim different and we can pop the roof off as well to be able to stick the ATS tree driver down inside here of course this gun's going to be in the way but you can sit down 
one inside of there. But it feels like to get him in there, you have to kind of put him in a sitting position. I feel with how deep it was in there, you'd be able to stand him, but you just have to put him in a seating position and you can kind of see him in through there a little bit. But there we have the ATST driver in the ATST as well. So that is pretty fun having all these together now. So like I said, it's just a fun little recreation of the Battle of Endor with the Imperials attacking the Ewoks. Fun little set overall carrying out that, but like I said, it's just a small little four plus set. So nothing major or crazy going on here. But like I said, for me, I bought it all mostly just to get the three minifigures and then wanted to see this ATST build in real life. Looks pretty good overall. Like I said, it's just four plus set, so good for kids. So if you have young kids, you can buy this and it shows you how with the booklet, how they easily put stuff together. You usually put like one or two pieces together at a time. So it doesn't go too hard. So if you want to try and get a kid into building Legos, I would say this is a good place to start because it's pretty simple and not a whole lot to it. But let me know what you thought of this four plus set down in the comments. And if you enjoyed my review, let me know with a thumbs up. But I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you all stay awesome out there and I'll see you in our next review.